Okay, so this is a teardown of the General Electric LED Bright Stick. This is something I got from Home Depot. Um, this, these are, they come in a three pack for about $10. And uh, on the pictures, like this one, they're kind of advertised as like omnidirectional. So I'm kind of curious how they do that with the diffuser, which doesn't look like a normal one you find on a, on a on other LED bulbs, for example, this one. This one's a nice omnidirectional one that looks more like a normal bulb. The old spherical part. But I'm, kind of, I'm, well, I'm curious here is how exactly are they going to get are they getting the omnidirectional aspects of this bulb with the diffuser being cylindrical? So I guess I guess I have to take take it apart to find out. So I'll be right back when I get the monies out and uh, get the diffuser dome out. So we got one of the bulbs plugged up right now, and as you can, um, and uh, I don't know if the camera's gonna see it, but it definitely does look pretty omnidirectional, like everything's being lit from the bottom there, and to the sides, and stuff like that. So yeah, very interesting. Okay, so I got the top off, and um, it's pretty much the basic thing. I'm guessing it does um, just diffuse the light and redirects it, and kind of like a light pipe, I guess. Since this is a 10 watt bulb, um, they might be driving this little, these LEDs maybe a little too too much. I'm not really sure, based on the um, uh, these LEDs that I've seen them many times in, uh, in other bulbs, including this. Including this, in which I've torn, torn apart but not recorded, so I'll probably record that. And uh, that seems a bit interesting because I'm kind of curious how long it'll last. Because so this this is 10 10 watts supposedly, although this might have a speed of slightly different LED. I'm not really sure. And this one's 9.5 watts, and this one, had, if I can remember correctly, had a lot more LEDs in it. So I'm kind of curious how long this one will last, because if they're if they are overdriving these LEDs, which might be the case, that or these, this might be a slightly different LED that has the same package, um, that has uh, higher wattage. I think that's the case in a lot of these. Um, 3 watt and 1 watt LEDs if you see if you have ever seen those on like eBay and stuff like that then they look the same but I'm kind of curious to see how well this is go going to operate but I might do a long term test of this it might last for it because it's supposedly a life it's lasting 13.7 years on the box so I'll probably do a longer run test see how that goes Okay, so here's the LED rates uh, mounted, not using screws, but like using like tacks and stuff onto this like thin piece of, well, thick wire, right, thick piece of aluminum, which um, just sits it sits uh, right here into the bulb. So it sits, um, well, it sits right here on on the bulb, and um, it just clips off because it's got this little connector on there, which I've seen before. And uh, reviewing the power supply, and let me, let me get that out. And okay, so I just got the power supply out. It does have here a little bit of like potting compound right there, so I'm probably gonna get this off. But here it is. Okay, so I got the thermal potting now, and um, you zoom into it. We got we got the uh, some kind of Capacitors. There's a high, there's this uh, ceramic capacitor right here, and another one right there. This is inductor for EMI filtering. We've got a rectifier in the back for AC DC conversion. We got a smoothing capacitors for smoothing, and we got a main transformer right here, which is presumably dropping down the voltage to whatever voltage it is is required for these LEDs. On the back here we got a bunch of surface mount resistors and surface mount diodes, there's a super beefy dab right there, and our main and the IC chip, that's the main controller, uh, along with uh, remnants of thermal potting. But yeah.
pretty interesting.